this mini Coca-Cola stove. I cannot believe I'm having a barbecue with a Coca-Cola can. <laughs> this soda slingshot what? DIY. No way this will work. Careful. Oh, wow. this coffee maker hat. Something smells like it's burning. I don't know if it's from here or here. <laughs> Dude. That's actually crazy. What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode of Leggy Box. Yeah! Today, we're playing a game called Guess the Price DIY Food Life Hack Edition. Justin will now be showing several different products, and I'll have to see if he can guess the price of each one. If he guesses all of them correct, you get to play a special game with prizes at the end. However, if he guesses any wrong, I get to play the game instead. Let's go. Okay, Justin, here are your price options. And guys, check out the merch. You can get everything Justin's wearing and boxy. It'll be linked down below. And let's get into the first DIY food life hack right now, which is this mini Coca cola stove what okay so watch close basically what you do is you take a can of coke uh -huh. you cut it in half uh -huh. then you use aluminum foil to create like a little like platform for it okay you take a stick and put a hot dog on it and you can like rotate it like a barbecue this is the most complicated diy <laughs> we've ever looked at wait so we can turn a can of coke into a mini stove barbecue yeah this is sick let's, let's go it. okay okay i am now transformed into survival just okay in case you want to grill while you're camping this diy is for that okay okay now be very careful if you actually try this because cutting a can this metal could be very very sharp yeah okay. be careful if you guys actually do this one okay okay now i've cut a nice little grill opening here okay now i'm gonna lift this up nice oh okay, so i have like a little grill area dude okay. i've never actually seen like the inside of a soda can that's crazy it's a metal can! <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have folded some aluminum uh -huh. so that this has a place to rest and it's not gonna roll away. Oh, you know I mean? that's smart. Dude, nice, nice, nice. nice. Now we put some paper inside. I'm gonna light a match. Okay. Let's hope this works. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, it's working. Dude. Okay, quickly, <laughs> quickly, quickly. Okay. Survival just be coming in uh -huh. with the weenies. Okay. Let's go. Dude, Dude. this is actually sick. Dude, you're actually barbecuing little hot dogs in a Coke can. This is crazy. <laughs> now let me come in with a marshmallow. I cannot believe <laughs> I'm having a barbecue with a Coca-Cola can. <laughs> this is crazy. Uh, I, think, I think it's a little burnt. <laughs> Adams, Adams, you want a marshmallow? No, don't pull it out. Dude, I have these like little packets where when you add them to fire, it turns it like rainbow. Yeah, we tried that before. You want to put it in this? Yeah. Are okay. you insane? Okay, the packet's like as big as the Coke can, but I think we should try it. Dude. Dude. This is insane. This is also a little bit unsafe. <laughs> okay, now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for that stove Coca-Cola barbecue? I mean, that was pretty crazy. I would say that was $20. Okay. That soda fire was pretty cool, but I actually think it could be really interesting to try putting, like, a gummy food onto the fire and seeing what happens. Do you okay. want to try it? Okay. Okay, we're going to try that at the end of the episode, so watch the full video to see that. But for now, we're going to move on to the next DIY right now, which is this soda sling shot what? DIY. What? Okay, so basically how this one works is you take a soda cap uh -huh. and some Mentos and a balloon. Uh -huh. You put the balloon around the soda and you can like fling Mentos out and uh -huh. they even make like a little game with bowls. Oh! Here. You want to try playing? Okay, let's go! Okay, so first we have to create the slingshot. Now I have some soda. Okay, nice! I have some balloons and some Mentos. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, so now uh, we have to empty these out. Okay, okay. So I'm going to pour this soda out. Wait, what are you doing? Stop! Pour it out! You are wasting Coca-Cola! We need an empty bottle. Okay, so now I have an empty can of Coke. I'm just gonna cut the top off like they did in the DIY. Okay, you take a balloon and you put it over. <laughs> yeah! I'm not allowed to have this much sugar or caffeine usually. Okay. Okay. I think I made it. What do I do? <laughs> Give me a scissor. Go in my hand. Go. Go. Yeah, you just put the Mentos in the balloon and then it's supposed to like rocket it out. This is going to rocket out a Mentos? I think so. Be okay, careful. let me get the Mento in there. No way this will work. Careful. Oh. oh. Wait, that actually works so well. Oh, right? This is sick. That's pretty cool. Now, in the DIY, they had a little like weird game with bowls. Now, I actually made 
a very similar game with Oh, this is sick! Now, do, oh! do you think you can beat me at this game? <laughs> All that sugar went straight to my brain. <laughs> I will not miss. Okay. We both get, let's say, five Mentos each. Whoever gets the most points wins the dollar. Okay, hold it up. I'll go first. First shot. Do not hit my hand. Oh, okay. Second shot. Oh, no! Did that count? No, it does not. Uh, dude, this is so hard. Fourth shot. No! Ben, please. <laughs> wow! Wow! <laughs> you think you can do better? It's because you don't drink your soda and it shows. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, let, let's see you do it. Uh-huh. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where's my dollar? That went in. I won off the first shot. Where's my dollar, Dumbo? You still have four more tries. Where's my dollar? I could take all four of my Mentos. Really? And eat them. And guess what? I still won. <laughs> 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 you lose, Dumbo. You lose by a very wide margin. <laughs> As you can see, Justin got 300 points. That's Wait, crazy. This is one of the coolest DIYs we've ever looked at. It's it so works. easy to do, too. Guys, like anyone can do this. If you do this at home, be safe. I thought it goes in the balloon. It just sits on top like this. Uh -huh. And yeah, just the air pushes the mento out. What else can we put in this slingshot? Okay, what if I come in with some Cheetos? Okay. okay. We have to cut these into the right size. They're like little cheese balls. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put one in. Oh! oh! Wait, that works so well. That goes so far. I'm just gonna lightly pull it. Whoa! Dude, these work better than the Mentos. Oh, this is way lighter than Wait, the Mentos. Yeah, I'm, let's say we were in class and you were really hungry, but you were across the room. Oh, oh, dude, dude nice. Dude, wait, this is such a sick DIY. Dude, that was a good catch. Let's go. You're really good at that for some that reason. That was a nice shot. Dude, wait, how often do you practice this in your room alone? I could actually play that game for hours and just be yeah. very entertaining. This game is sick. Now, just how much do you think we paid for this soda slingshot hack? I would say this is $10. Okay, we're gonna go to the next DIY right now, which is this coffee maker hack. I actually saw this hack on TikTok. Oh, TikTok! <laughs> Do you like TikTok? I actually <laughs> just submitted my application to become the CEO of TikTok. Have they gotten back to you? Sadly, no. <laughs> but when they do, oh boy. So what you do is you take a coffee maker. Okay. Now, this part gets hot normally, right? Oh, right, because they have to keep the coffee warm. Right, so you can spray, like, you can put, like, pancake batter on it, and you can literally make pancakes on a coffee Wait, maker. what? Look, he's, like, flipping it. It works. <laughs> That's such a cute little pancake. I know, let's try okay, it. Okay, let's go. Uh, okay, we turned it on. I don't really know what's happening. Wait, there's nothing in the coffee pot. Why is it smoking. I don't know. I'm not allowed to drink coffee. Is this okay. bar hot? Yeah, Wait, don't touch. This bar's pretty it. hot. This okay. bar's pretty hot. I guess we're just gonna try that. Dude, it's smoking like really All bad. Right, hurry up. Hurry up with the cooking okay. spray. Okay, uh, okay. I have some cooking spray. Now that's smoking too. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Oh! Do you hear that? It's sizzling. Dude, wait. Something smells like it's burning. I don't know if it's from here or here. Ah! Okay. Dude, okay, it's actually like cooking. I don't know if you guys can see that, but like the pancake is like starting to bubble. Yeah, dude, that's crazy. Dude, okay. Wait, wait, should we try and flip it? Oh! oh! It kind of worked. Okay, it's a little messy, uh, but... We, we made this pancake a little bit too thick. Dude, that actually cooked. I'm shocked. Okay, let's see how it looks. Okay. Uh, you know, not we're, the best. <laughs> we're not that good looking either, that's so... That's okay, that's okay. Okay, here we go. That's a wait, pancake. Dude, that's actually not it, bad. It's a pancake. Okay, now wait. It worked with the pancake. What other breakfast foods can we try? Dude, what if we try some eggs? That would be cool. Okay, let's go. It's, it's actually sizzling. Dude. Dude, it's bubbling. Wait. Dude, that's crazy. Dude, it's like actually cooking the egg. Wait. Dude. That's actually crazy. Dude. Oh. It actually cooked the egg really well. That's crazy. Like better than the pancake for sure. Okay, let's try it. 
That's Dude. amazing. This is insane. This Dude. hack actually worked. Dude, if you were in a hurry, you could use this machine to make these two things. It would only take about two hours. <laughs> and then you could take the pancake and dip it in the egg and eat it. Yeah. It's like an egg McMuffin. <laughs> and, then, and then you could put coffee in it and drink the... Drink the coffee, and you have breakfast on the go. Dude, okay, it works with the breakfast foods, right? Yeah. What if we tried it with dessert? Okay. Okay, I have some rainbow marshmallows in a Kit Kat bar. Okay, okay. We can try and, like, put these on here and see what happens. Okay. Now we just wait and see what happens. Okay, it's smelling really wait, good. Wait, dude, this totally worked. Wait, let's try and take this off. Oh! Okay. okay, you made some sort of... Dude, it's so sticky. This is a dessert idea by Adam McCoy. Carter? Well, yeah. Okay. Dude, I can imagine like some type of date night where you make this with a with a girl. Uh -huh, and then uh -huh. you, you I don't do up, You come up and say, <laughs> bone apple tea. <laughs> nice. That's nice. Dude, this tastes good. That's pretty good. Now, how much do you think we paid for this coffee cooker pack? I would say this is $30. Okay, we're on to the next DIY right now, which is this sponge cake hack. Sponge cake. I love sponge cake. Well, maybe not this one. So this is kind of like a a trick that you can play on a friend. Oh, I so, dislike that. That's so watch. You take like a sponge, uh -huh. right? An actual sponge? Yeah, like a real sponge. Uh, you put you cover it with on. frosting. Uh -huh. And when it's covered, it literally looks like a cake. <laughs> like it looks like some kind of like a, like a Rice Krispie treat uh -huh, with frosting uh -huh, on it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And you can feed it to a friend uh -huh, uh -huh. and be like, oh yeah, I just made this cake. Uh -huh. And then they take a bite and then they're like, oh, it's a sponge. Got it. Dude, let's try it. Okay. Okay, so let's try this out. So I have a pink sponge. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Now I'm going to take some frosting uh -huh, uh -huh. and cover the sponge with the frosting. Okay, okay. Wait, this actually looks so good. That looks amazing. Adam, why don't you go ahead and take a bite? Well, no, no, that's the trick. It's, I obviously know it's not real cake, but if I were no, to like no, give it- No, 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 it looks great. This looks so good, Adam. Take a bite. Look, wow, the, wow, wow. Look at this nice red velvet sponge cake. Go ahead, take a bite. This looks so good. Well, no, this, that's the whole DIY. No, no. Oh no, look at him. This looks so yummy. Wow, wow. I'm going in for a big bite. <laughs> How was it? Oh, that's so good. Go ahead and try it, Adam. Try it. And I'm going to actually make it a two layer orange red velvet sponge cake. Wow, wow, wow. We. Oh, wow. Look at that frosting. Doesn't that look great? Okay, you made it say real cake. Oh, I did? Yeah. That's because that's definitely what this is. This is a real cake. Real cake. Wait, but... Real taste. But people who... Wait, you wrote real cake to try and trick someone into believing it's real? I'm... Did, what? Trick? Okay, okay, cool. Happy birthday to you. No, that's sponge. Happy Happy birthday to you. Okay. I guess that did not work. Okay. <laughs> now, Justin, how much do you think we paid for this sponge cake trick? I would say that was $5. Okay. And we're going to run to the next DIY right now, which is this straw strawberry hack. Huh? Normally, when you cut a strawberry, you take the stem and you cut it with a knife, uh -huh, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That's wrong. Don't do that. Why? What you should do, I guess, according to this hack, is you take a straw and you push it into the the strawberry. Wait, that's pretty satisfying. And that way you don't like cut off much of the strawberry. Okay, okay. Okay, so let me demonstrate how a normal person would do this. I guess you would just take the strawberry and you cut the stem off. Uh-huh, yeah. But then you lose all this precious strawberry. Yeah, So true. now, using a straw, you can just poke it into the berry, uh -huh, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And wait. Okay, it looks like you missed. <laughs> but wait, but that looks like it would have worked otherwise. Yeah. Hold on. Let me try it. Boom! Oh, okay. But then the stem is still there, and now you have a hole in your berry. Wait, it's okay, Justin. Wait, what if I come in with some chocolate syrup, and now I can fill the hole with chocolate? Oh, oh that's genius. Dude! But then it's just dripping chocolate everywhere. What? Does it taste good? Yeah, that's so good. Wait, try again. Try it, try it. Okay. Dude. Eat it quick. Okay. That's pretty good. And you can't do that on a normal strawberry because it just gets everywhere. Yeah. This is genius. You can. This is genius. <laughs> and then what if I actually just... <laughs> How is this a hack? 
Now how much do you think we paid for this strawberry straw hat? I guess I'm gonna lock this in at one dollar. Okay, that's it. Let's get into the answer. Starting with the Coke stove, you thought that was $20. That was $20. Okay, nice. For the soda slingshot hack, you thought that was $10. That was $5. Mm. Ah. For the coffee pot hack, you thought that was $30. That was $30. Okay, nice. For the sponge cake hack, you thought that was $5. That was $10. Mm. Ah. And for the strawberry straw hack, you thought that was $1. That was $1. Okay, which nice. Means you did well, but not well enough. I get to spin the wheel. Let's see what my prize is. Coming below some prizes that you want to save next. Let's go. Oh, wait. We got to put the gummy hot dog inside of the Coca Cola stove. Okay, let's go. Okay, we have the gummy hot dog. Now we're going to add this into the fire. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, it's stuck. Belty. It's actually Belty. cooking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what my prize is. Dude, I can imagine like some type of date night where you make this with a with a girl. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, if Adam wins, he gets to have Chimmy. Oh, okay. No, Bring no, him on over. Chimmy. We can have strawberry play dates. Oh, he's very excited. He's very excited. Okay, take Chimmy. Uh, what? I'm gonna use the soda slingshot from earlier and see if he can catch it. Okay. Okay, here we go. 